Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to upgrade to say the MSATA drive in your Ultrabook for netbook, laptop, whatever uses it. We're going to start off by, of course, doing a cloning with the Cronus. But you can't just do this as you do, as you would with like a PC because your drive looks like this. It's an MSATA drive, right? So it's a little bit harder to just pop out and, you know, clone an image with a Cronus or even a system, or Windows. So what I'm going to do here is something rather interesting. I'm using an adapter. This is a MSATA adapter to 2.5 inch. So this is like what you do if you put or to take an MSATA drive and then pop it into your computer as a hard drive. But what I'm going to do there is going to use uh, the old bits from the inside of an external hard drive and I just tore apart an old external and then use that so I can plug this in and or plug in any SATA 2.5 inch, uh, inch drive to that uh, plug that into the adapter, put the MSATA in there, and then clone over the existing drive in here to this. Let's hope this works. So that probably sounded a lot more complicated than it really is. All I'm really doing is making my own external drive with the MSATA drive using an adapter. And these adapters are pretty cheap. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon, maybe cheaper. Can't find one? Shoot me a message and I'll find one for you. Oh man, these screws are really tiny. So I'm just going to put in one screw here because it's temporary install of the 256 gig that's going into the Ultrabook that has a 156. So that was an easy. I just slid in the uh, MSATA to there and just popped her in. And then of course hooked up my old, this would be the internal guts of an external hard drive. And if you don't have one of these, uh, maybe you can cobble something else up, but you know, this this will do the trick. Let's hope. I did have it plugged in. Alright, so from here, we're going to move on to a Cronus. And what we're going to do is plug this in as an external drive, as it looks very Mad Maxis. But let's see if this works. Okay, so Windows just detected this. The light is on the drive there. So now all I have to do is go to Clone Disk in a Cronus, of course. This is actually, you can just download a Cronus, it'll work fine for 30 days and then you can use this and if you want to buy it, you can buy it. If you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. So automatic should be good enough. All it just says like it'll copy everything over all my partitions and all that. So it'll have the boot image and I should be able to just swap to the new one. So we see the old one is 119.2.2 gigabyte Samsung. And then we've got, oh, dang, it's not showing up. Well, it's probably not formatted, that's why. So I ripped apart yet another external drive, and I guess I just wasn't getting enough power to the, uh, the adapter, so this should work. And then back into disk management, I just have to go in here and then find it, which is down here as disk two. And I'm just going to create a simple volume, full size, yes. And we'll give it the letter E. Now we just have to go back into a Cronus, and you can see disk one. That's one we have right now, 119. We want to choose as our source disk. That'll be disk one. And is that selected? Hard to tell these days. And go down here to destination, and then this will be the 256 gig. And what's this going to do? It's going to copy everything from the inside drive to this drive and make it bootable. So I can just take apart the laptop after this, plug in the new drive, and I won't have to fix anything. I'll just go. It might ask you to restart. Just hit restart. Now as it copies, it's going to do this. Like it'll reboot into this and copy everything over. This will take a while, so give her, you know, go have some coffee or something. Might take an hour or so, might take less, depending on the size of your hard drive and how fast your computer is. But this one, it should be pretty quick. Now for the fun part, I'm going to take this back panel off and uh, you might want to look into some of my older videos about taking apart laptops, but this one's actually really simple. If you look for like a teardown guide for whatever model you have, this uh, should work. And on this one, it's basically just a matter of about eight screws, a little bit of prying around the edges. And then once we get that off, we'll put in the new MSATA 256. This will be different on many laptops, but on this one, your um, MSATA drive right there. So there's one little pin, and these things just come apart pretty easily. If you get your nail on there, you can probably pull it out. There's a little slow battery connection right there, so you might want to remove that just to be on the safe side. 
Here's our old drive. Let's just hope that this all works as it did before. This has been a lot of work. If this goes, it goes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it's doing something. There we go, guys. It's done. It works. Holy shink. This is the actual, the new drive, so. Yep, how much space do we have free now? Before it was like 10 gigs free. Now it's... 10 gigs of oh crap I remember okay so I still have to partition this space and that sucks now I'm gonna have to go to uh, create and format hard disk partitions and you can tell that we have 113 gigabytes it's unlocalgated new simple volume and full size yes uh, we'll give it D and away she goes and there it is, it's done. So we've got uh, 10 gigs on C, that has to be cleaned up, but the stuff from C can be moved to D. So all I did was create a new partition, and it's there. There you go, M set of done. Nice laptop. Bye bye. I'm a little excited there. I should probably put the thing back together before I, you know, totally say she's done but yeah I just push everything back together and let the clip snap in and then the screws go in and then you are done goodbye